Right, Harish. Now we have to look at the requirements. See, from the March 2020, March June 2021 exams, and it's asking identify and explain six deficiencies in Castle Courier Company payroll system, and provide a control recommendation to address each of these deficiencies and we will get 12 marks. That means, again, one mark each for control deficiency and control recommendation. Now, we have to look at the scenario with the aspect of the deficiencies now, right? So, it is 1st July 2005. You are an audit supervisor of Apple and Company and are in the process process of reviewing extracts of the system documentation which has been complete payroll cycle of uh, castle career as well as preparing, preparing the audit program for the forthcoming final audit for the year ending 30th september 2005 castle courier company's package delivery company which operates from a large distribution center right the company employs 200 staff of whom 120 of the staffs are delivery drivers okay all staff work a standard eight hour shift each day and are paid monthly. All staff members required to clock in and out using a sequentially number key card and which contains their unique employee number and name. Sequence checks on key cards and the data recorded in system are carried out by the human resource supervisor on a regular basis. The clock in Progress is monitored by camera on entry to the distribution center and weekly checks are carried out by the HR department who review the video footage to ensure that no staff members clocks in for someone else. Recordings are kept in date order in the HR and logged on a spreadsheet together with the name of the person who has reviewed the footage. Okay, now. Let's jump in and start writing them. Okay, let's move further. Let's move further. Okay. And the clocking system is directly linked to payroll system and information regarding the work by the staff is automatically transferred into the payroll system. The payroll system then automatically calculates the gross pay deduction and net pay. The payroll clerk confirms that the transfer of hours and calculation has been done correctly by recalculating the sample of employees gross to net pay payroll supervisor, blah, blah, blah. That's not a issue till here. No deficiency found. Okay. All staff are entitled to 22 days holiday a year. Employees are paid for any holiday which has not been taken at the end of the year. Department managers are required to approve all holiday requests by authorizing employees. Holiday forms, however, this does not always occur. We got our first control deficiency. Bang on, let's try it. Firstly, my heading control deficiency. Deficiency and control recommendation. So, department and managers. are required to approve all employees holiday forms. However, this does not always occur. Okay, now I have to explain why this is a control deficiency. Okay, so this could result in employees
taking unauthorized leave which could lead to operational difficulties if there are shortages of staff at critical periods in addition payments for untaken holiday may be made in error as holiday records may be incorrect so uh what's the recommendation then employee should receive a written confirmation when their holiday has been approved and should be informed that they will not be able to take holiday without this notification okay uh, and any payments for unused holiday should be authorized by department managers prior to payment we get two marks now move for the further the payroll system is password prevent the password is changed on monthly basis by the payroll manager using a random password generator okay once the payroll has been agreed by the payroll super the payroll provide details of the net pay due to each employee to the financial controller who then prepares and authorizes the bank transfer to be paid on the employee's bank account we get another deficiency see in control right move back to the scenario financial controller prepares the bank transfers for the payroll system and also authorizes these to be paid now explain why it is the now deficiency in control right so the financial controller prepares the bank transfer for the payroll system and also authorizes this to be paid 
Now, what's the issue? What's the deficiency here? Right, this lack of segregation duties. Segregation duties. Okay. Increases the risk of fraud or error. This increases a, as a financial controller. Good. A themselves or certain employees more than they are you do without this being detected Now, what's the recommendations? Once the bank transfer has been prepared by the financial controller, it should be passed to the financial director. to reviewed and authorized for payment, to be reviewed and authorized for payment. The review and authorization should be evidenced. We have done two control deficiencies and two deficiencies. We got four marks. Then now, <clears throat> now next, move on. Each man as part of the money process, the finance director undertakes a payroll control of. Okay. Okay, the company's HR department is responsible and he was using a joiner lever form. To notify the payroll department of the change on the receive the joiner lever form, payroll clerk updates the payroll system and added report is generated, which records the changes made. But this report is not reviewed. Two staff members from the HR department have been absent for some time due to illness. As a result, the operation manager has processed six newly recruited temporary delivery delivers and instructed the payroll department to set up the new employees. Bang on. Easy peasy. The payroll clerk commands the payroll. Amends the payroll and an added report of changes is produced, but this report is not 
review. As the edit report is not checked, errors made by the payroll clerk. When updating the system, will not be identified. Promptly. This may result in new employees. That's right. New, um, uh, this may result in new employees not being paid at all. Errors being made being errors being made in payments to new employees or levers. being paid after they have left the company. They have left the This would lead to loss of employee goodwill and errors and accounting records for wages and service. Add it, okay, now. What's the recommendation, control recommendation? The payroll supplier, uh, supervisor, or a member of the finance team should review all edit reports and agree changes made to the details on the joiner lever form any discrepancies should be investigated promptly and the payroll system updated for any errors or omissions, right? We get six marks. Now, Let's move on.
we have one more uh, control deficiency from the base, uh, same paragraph which we just read. So the HR department is responsible for processing joiners and levers, but you do staff illness, the operations manager, has processed temporary new drivers and notified fail. So the operation manager may not carry out all the required procedures for processing temporary new drivers as the manager may not be using appropriate documentation right uh, just a minute so two marks four marks six marks and this one is eight right just want to check Okay, appropriate documentation. And then what could happen with this? This could result in temporary employees not being set up. in the payroll records correctly, resulting in the late payment of wages incorrect statutory Okay, incorrect statutory deductions being calculated and incomplete payroll records now it's income. Now, the uh, recommendation <clears throat> all staff appointments including temporary staff should only be processed by the HR department to ensure that correct procedures are followed.
if it is not possible for the hr department to carry out all of the detailed processing due to staff shortages a member of the hr team should review the lever joiner form and authorize it before it is sent to the payroll department okay eight marks uh let's move further delivery drivers are required sometimes required to work over time particularly in busy period where over time is necessary the operations manager has to authorize over time in excess of 5 hours per week some temporary delivery drivers receive their wages in cash the delivery drivers collect their pay, uh, packet from the finance department when it is ready the member of the staff in the finance department will ask for the delivery drivers name to check that there is a pay packet prepared and if there is they provide the delivery driver with their pay packet okay now we have further deficiency so let us talk about only over time in excess of five uh, excess of 5 hours per week needs authorization by the operations managers this means that employees could claim to have work up to 5 hours over time without authorization resulting in payments being made to employees for hours not work and additional payroll costs so all over time is my now my recommendation all over time including that below 5 hours should be authorized by a responsible official before being processed in the payroll this authorization should be evidence by way of signature 
All right. That's it. Uh, now the last one, uh, where the cash wages are paid. The driver is only required. to provide their name. To collect their pay packet. So payment of wages without proof of identity. Or signature. Increases uh, the risk. That wages that wages could be paid to incorrect employees either in error or due to fraud resulting in a loss of cash. All drivers collecting the cash pay packets should provide a form of identification to the Identifications to the just a second, yeah, to the finance staff member. Before the pay packet is handed, to them. The driver should also be required to sign for their pay packet. That's it. Uh, we're done. Six control deficiencies and recommendations as well. And we are done with this requirement.